welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for being here. So today I have a Nasty Gal order for you. So like a nice big Nasty Gal haul. I've never ordered from Nasty Gal before, but I have seen lots of really nice pieces from them. So I was quite intrigued to see what it was like, see what the quality was like. I have to say when I did this order, there was 50% off everything. So I guess I didn't really have high expectations of the items but I will give you my honest feedback and my honest review of them all. I'm a UK size 12 and I'm about 5 foot 10 as you guys always seem to want to know my height and size. So just for reference and I will tell you all the sizes, all the links will be down below if you love any of the items and you want to shop them and if you are new to my channel please consider if you enjoyed today's video subscribing for some good vibes and if you do enjoy the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, I had 50% off when I ordered these items. So when I tell you the prices, they may be slightly different on the website, but all the links are down below. So, I first of all, I'm going to give you my first impression of the item. So, little things like this, you just know they've come from like a little Chinese factory or something, which initially isn't great. And a few of the items are quite pure, pure, pure. Poor, poor, poor quality. I will let you know which ones I think are good quality, which ones are bad quality, and which ones are really good value. I always think with these kind of websites, you find a few little hidden gems which are amazing, but majority of the time the stuff isn't great quality. If you want it just for like a summer holiday, or just to like wear around pretty chilled, you know, things like that, then they're fine items for. And some of them are great quality items. For example, this first dress I'm gonna to talk to you about, I think is actually really, really nice and a great quality item. The sizing on all of these was a little bit hit and miss as well. So this little baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. I really like this. This reminds me, something on sleeve. This reminds me of like a nice summer holiday dress. So something you could just chuck on when it's hot, um, but just still look so really pretty and effortless. Like I always say, dresses are just like one of those things you can just chuck on and you've got a whole outfit in one. So this for me is just dreamy. I love the tiered layers going down it. I love the length of it, it's a really pretty length. I think this is really, really elegant and really pretty and just simple. Um, I love a white dress, probably my favorite thing to wear ever. I just think they're really geely, really classic. It's never gonna go out of fashion. It's got a nice little, like stretchy bit at the back so it's going to be great for different bus sizes also got adjustable straps which is amazing and yeah i think this is a really really great piece this is a size 12 and it says maxi it's not quite maxi on me like i said i am five foot ten it's a little bit just above my ankle as you'll see in the cutaway 22 pound 50 so i think it was definitely worth that that price i think that's a really good price point and i think it's a really nice first item okay so there's a few pieces in this haul which i think would actually wear to a wedding and they're all i think under 30 pound which is insane one of them is this but i'll show you this after um so this as well is one that i definitely would wear to a wedding perfect for like summer spring even going into autumn wedding with a nice little wrap around your shoulders if you're going to autumn the only thing with this one was the straps were quite short, but I have, like I said, I am tall. So maybe I'm someone who's a little bit shorter, the straps would be a great length. The fit was lovely on this. I got this in a size 12. And the fit around the body and the frill at the bottom was just perfect. I really loved that. It sat really nicely on the bust area. The only thing for me, like I said, was I think it would look lovely if the straps were slightly lower. So maybe they came down to here, take this bit away and then put them down to there, which you could potentially have done for the price of the dress. Um, how much was it? This was £16, so even if it cost you like £30 or £40 to get that done, you still got a dress for a wedding for under £50, which to me is like bargain central. I love it, I think it's really just gorgeous, simple, elegant and just really feminine and chic, stylish. Again, it's not going to go out of fashion, it's going to just be one of those dresses you can wear for different things then after that. So, you know, nice garden party, nice dinner party, even like a girls night, date night. I love this, I think it's really, really sweet and pretty. And yeah, I love it. So this little jumpsuit, I got in a size 14. I guess I got it in a size 14 because they'd run out of 12s and I thought it'd rather be big than 
small, you know, going up all the areas. So I think this is actually adorable. It was only slightly too big. I think you could probably get away with it. If you're really fussed up on it, then you can take it in a little bit. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. It's obviously like the broidery anglais, which is very in at the moment. It's got the really cute puppy sleeves, which I love, as you would know, if you've been on my channel before. It's got little cups in where the bra would be, which is nice because you don't really want to wear a bra with this because it is just the broidery on glay at the back so it's completely see-through so you would see a bra through it so i think that's a really nice option you don't have to wear a bra with it i just think the detail on this is gorgeous i think it's really really nicely made i think it's so pretty i'm not a massive fan of the buttons but i'd live with them because the rest of the outfit is so nice and you could always swap them out for like some pearls or something like that i mean it's not exactly going to be hard to do most like, to be honest, I'd probably get my mum to do it because I'm not the best sewer. But if I really had to, I could probably do it myself. It can't be that challenging. Uh, yeah, so I really like this. This was £20, which to me, I'm like, if this was £40 and I got it, because I got, like I said, I got, I think, 50% off. I don't think I would have spent £40 on this. I think it would have been a bit, it does, it's a little bit cheap looking, but it's going to be great for summer, great for holidays, great for just chucking on when you want to be comfy, but also look really stylish and elegant, Piff, like little picnics in the park. This is just really, really cute, really chic, really elegant. Again, never ever going to go out of style. I love it. Really, really nice, but £20, definitely £40, no. Okay, so there's no extra strap for me to hold this onto here, so I'm just going to actually just try and hold it like this. So this is like a one shoulder, very similar to what I've got on now. Um, really gorgeous, like split leg midi dress. Midi? Maxi. Maxi midi. It's, it's maxi midi, it's like in between. It's closer to a maxi than a midi. So this is really gorgeous. I got this in a 14. I always think if you're going for like light colours and something that's in a clingy material, then definitely go up a size. And I think I was definitely right to do that with this dress. I would definitely need to invest in a bra that's suitable for this dress because I didn't have one. So I didn't wear one, but I don't think that's the right look for this dress. I think perhaps a, you need to find a bra basically that is suitable. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I love the one shoulder. I think it's really elegant, really feminine, really girly. I love the split up the leg. It's just high enough that it's not like, you're not conscious of it, but it's just a nice light split. This is absolutely stunning. The color's like a lovely peachy color, which when I got it out of the bag, I think I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure about that. But I'm really growing on colors. Like colors are just, they're really, really nice. Like any pastel colors at the minute, I'm just really enjoying. This was only £14 and I 100% would wear this to like a wedding, I would wear it to really fancy events. I think this is just so gorgeous and such a classic piece you can just have in your wardrobe. Whenever something like that comes up, you've got something there ready. Really nice to wear in like more spring and summertime because of the colour, but I think because it's just such a classic nude colour, you could get away with wearing this any time of the year. So this is a gorgeous midi dress. I, I put this on my stories. If you don't follow me up on Instagram, I'm at with love Katie and two underscores. Come over and follow me. Talk all stuff fashion and like daily fashion outfit days and all things kind of like that and just me being a bit crazy um, on a daily basis rather than however often I'm on here. Mondays, Wednesdays, Sundays. You're gonna see me every day. <laughs> Look at you. But yeah, I put this on my story and you guys, I put yes or no, but you guys said no. I actually really like this. Now, when I saw it in the bag, it wasn't first on the pattern, but when I put it on, I really liked it on, actually. I was really surprised. The straps for me, they are adjustable again, which is gorgeous, and they have really cute little um, gold straps, which for me, I always would wear gold jewellery anyway, so I love that. I'm not sure if I love the belt or not. It's not bad, but... It's kind of like, a, it's, I've got lots of things from Mango with a belt on like this, so I don't dislike the belt. I think it could have done without it. It doesn't need it. It's nice to have it as an option. Then it's got, obviously, like, this crisscross at the back, and this went just at the back. It's really hard on, while well, it's on the hanger to show you, but hopefully you'll see it in the cutaway. It just dropped down a little bit at the back, which I really liked. I thought that was, like, a nice little extra detail. Then it's got two little splits either side of the leg which i thought was really really nice and again i've not actually had on a dress before and when you're wearing like satiny silky feeling type dresses they can be quite restrictive um with the legs so that's absolutely perfect and it was again a nice height on the split this was 15 pounds which i think is absolute bargain perfect for like date night girls night anything like that um really really elegant feminine i love the color pink i think it's a really pretty pink I just, I actually really like it. Like, I don't know what you guys think about it. Tell me 
down below in the comment section if you like this or if you think this is a miss then tell me let me know but we try and keep the good vibes over here so i'd rather just hear what you love from the haul um there are obviously going to be a few pieces in the haul which i miss because that's life that's online shopping for you this is why i'm here telling you um, and that one i got in a size large and like i said i'm a uk 12 and it was on the cusp of being too tight i wouldn't have worn it if it was any tighter so just bear that one in mind i have got a bigger bottom half so it was just not very there was not much room in it because of the material okay <laughs> on the topic of misses this was a complete miss on the website it looks so cute uh how much was it on the website as well this was eight pound on the website so i'm not really surprised it's a bit of a miss it is really cute and the idea of it is lovely but i think it's going to suit someone who is literally no hips no tits like just got to be quite straight quite athletic figure quite slim and slender and just long <laughs> basically or very petite but very straight this doesn't suit people with a bum, with some boobs. It's just not the right shape. It is really cute. The colour's really cute. It's eight pound. The frill is really sweet. It's, I mean, it's very basic. It's, you know, very thin, almost a little bit sheer. But it's a fine for like a cheap, perfect summer day dress. Completely fine for that. And if you are that figure, then I think it would look great. I got this in a size 14 I think yeah and it was tight so I just kind of assumed the material was going to be clingy so I went up a size on this one so I think I would recommend doing that uh yeah and that's that one okay so this actually really surprised me I did think I would like it but when I got it out of the bag I wasn't so sure however having after put it on i really liked it i do think i maybe did the straps a little bit tight i need to loosen them a little bit but again it's really nice that they've got that detail that you can lengthen the straps because no one's upper body is all the same it doesn't matter what size we are i think that's a really great feature to have and then it's got these really cute little like round hole bits for the straps as well it's got a zip up the back a nice bit on the waist to, keep, to bring the waist in which is lovely it's got actual pockets which i really like it's got these really cute, just sweet little plain buttons down the front. Very basic. Um, and it's obviously a broidery on glare game material, which is really pretty. It's got a little small cuff on the bottom of the shorts. I think this is good value for money. This was £17.50, which is, for me, I think that's really good value for money. It's really sweet, just easy to wear. And again, I think I got this one. Oh, no, I got this in a 12. I thought it was a 14. But the fit on this was really nice. Um, and again it's got those little pads in so you don't actually have to wear a bra with it which if you know my channel but I don't really wear bras they don't really I just can't be asked for them I went to Bali and ever since I came back the bra free life try it I had someone actually comment on one of my videos the other day saying put, put a bra on or something and I just thought you know what I ain't got time for that <laughs> she obviously has got way too tight a bra on and she is not happy about it so there we are there are some pieces which i think like i said you know, there was a piece that i think it needs it but some of them you don't need it be free be free and happy um yeah so i really like this piece and i think this is a good little staple for the wardrobe nice little cute play suit picnic summertime all that kind of shabang okay so this one i was very disappointed you will not see the, the cutaway of the back of this dress because I couldn't do it up. I could barely get it over my bottom. This reminds me of one of the Zara pieces from one of my recent Zara hauls, which was a really favourite dress in there. It was £50 as well, so to have like a very similar one for such a lot less, this was, this was only £15. However, saying that, this was, was it a large? This was a large and I could not get it over my bum. I could barely get it on. I, could, I, you, I couldn't do that so you won't see the back of it. It is really, really pretty but I'm not being funny. It looks like it looks like a kid. It's like the width of my hand. It looks like it's for a child. It's tiny, absolutely tiny. I don't know if they do it in an extra large. Perhaps that would have fit better. I like the way you can wear the straps off the shoulders or on the shoulders. It's got these absolutely, look, look how pretty those details are. I mean that is just gorgeous they it really is stunning 
and it's so pretty it's like ruffled and ruched and then the back it's got this like ruched on the bottom as well and to finish it off it's got a frill on the bottom so it's so divine it is so pretty and feminine and soft and elegant and gaily and just divine it's a shame it didn't fit but if there was maybe an extra large i'm gonna have a little look into that because i'm gonna buy this dress in a size 14. so this one i've got all in the minute i'll show you the cutaway this one's a size 12. this was nine pound i'm sorry what i'm gonna wear this to a wedding i'm gonna buy it in a 14 and see how it fits because for me personally i think it's a little bit tight around this area here mostly because of the material and secondly because this is an area where things tend to cling to and this is like my cup of tea and cake this is my little cup of tea and a cake pouch and i love it so you know we've got to go up a size that's fine um i think this is absolutely lilac at the minute pastels at the minute i'm just loving and i think this is really gorgeous i do honestly love it and i'm so happy i found it and i'm so happy i'm gonna wear it to a wedding if we get to go to any weddings this year because we did have one planned that it would have actually been by now but it has been rescheduled to september so i'm hoping fingers crossed that for them more than anything else that they can get married but and if so i shall be wearing this <laughs> okay i've got like a little loungewear a few few luscious loungewear sets but i'm going to keep them to the end keep them like together in a little section of mini loungewear section at the end we're going to go on to some shoes next this has become a little bit of a theme where i pick one pair of shoes and i try and get them to go with every outfit within the haul and this so far worked really well with these i think these are really gorgeous i'm really surprised how much i like them when i told them online i was a bit like i'm either gonna love them or hate them when they come but i love them i think the heel is gorgeous again they're really like zara they literally look like a pair of zara shoes or mango they look really expensive and they were 15 pound i think 15 pound i got these in a size 8 and uh, normally a size 7 shoe but just whenever i buy any heels online because i'm wide fit i always buy a size 8 and it seems to work these were these fit absolutely fine they were great 15 pounds they're gonna go with everything they're perfect for like literally all year round you could wear these like super cash with jeans black jeans a nice nude top white top just blazer really cash or you could dress them up with a really nice outfit any of these little play suits i showed you and i'll have shown you them quite a bit throughout the video so i really really like those and then the other ones i got because obviously it's summer right now and flip-flops are life <laughs> are these like hermes copies i had a pair of these in one of the new look hauls and they weren't quite wide enough for my wide fit feet and they were 10 pounds but they had like a snake skin they were white and they had them in mint but I love these. I really like these. But I did do the thing where I get the eight. And they're not quite long enough. So I'm going to see. I can't believe I'm saying this. If they have a UK size nine. How am I that? But anyway. Like I do notice when you, when you wear cheaper things. They tend to be smaller fit. That's just the way it is. They're just cheaper, made more cheaply. They're not quite true to size. So I'm going to see if I can get these in the bigger size. The wide fit thing wasn't a problem. After I had them on for a few minutes, they really like just comfortably stretched with my foot. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep these a nine pound. And so when I really order this dress, I'm gonna reorder these as well uh, in the bigger size if they have them. If they don't, I'll probably just keep these because for nine pound, I haven't got a pair of white sandals this year and I'm in love with the Hermes ones. They're gorgeous and these are obviously just a nine pound version of them you cannot go wrong and i'm pretty sure they may have had some other colors they have them in black as well this little dress reminds me i think it's just the color of it has anyone seen beauty and the beast literally belle's dress in beauty and the beast whoever's a disney fan click the little thumbs up button right now uh yeah this reminds me of her dress just because of the color it's not actually coming up as as yellowy as it is in real life i don't think i can't tell but Anyway, this is really, really gorgeous, really, really pretty. When I got it out of the bag, I wasn't so sure. And then I put it on and I was like, oh, actually, I love this. Like, it's so different. And I think that's what's nice. It's because it's just different. This is a size 12, which is also a size large. Uh, this is from a different brand. It's called Allison. I don't know. It's 22 by 50. It's got this really nice ruching down the front, ruching down the back 
squeezing in the berm, really pretty like zip up the back. It's really, really elegant and like soft, it's a pretty detail. It's nice and plungy, but like not too in your face. Oh, I just think that's really cute, £22.50. What do we think of that? It's different, isn't it? It's different. I think I like the shine on it. That's what makes it different. It's like this, it's like a little sexy, slimy, slug, slime, shine. But I like it. I like it. Hey, <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Katie, at the age of 21, would have worn this dress. Katie, at the age of 28, almost 29 at the end of this month. Can you believe it? Cannot get away with how short this dress is, unfortunately. However, if you are of that age where you go out clubbing still and you're still, you know, in your prime, <laughs> then this dress is a dream and I, I do love it. It was just a little bit short, my butt would have been popping out, you know, I would have been bumping and grinding, dancing my heart half and my butt would be out. So unfortunately, it's a little bit short for me. I do think the colour is really, really pretty. I love the sleeves, I love the ruching along the front. Kind of like that milkmaid style that came out and i always loved it because it's just i just think again it's like a classic but old fashioned it's double lined which is really really nice and just really like effortlessly pretty can you tell i like this color at the minute i was in my mango hole as well this color um this is 12 pound 50 so literally a steal perfect for like girls night out date night anything like that just really really sweet cute little dressy poos okay so i add I add I hopes for this. Oh my god. I don't know what's happened to me recently. I keep just like splitting out like really well she sings. So I did have really high hopes for this this top. Um, however, it was a little bit too low on the bust for me. It's a size 12. Maybe if I went down to a 10, it may be different. I'm not too sure. And I do buy size 10s on the top sometimes. But recently I've been more of a 12, so I've just been going for the 12s, but this was just too planned for me, basically. I love these little heart buttons. I think they're literally adorable. I, I love the sleeves on this. I love the whole idea of this top. I just think it's gorgeous. I love the square neck at the back. It's fabulous. It's 12 pound. It's completely affordable. It's really, really sweet. I mean, I'm just gonna show you, like, it's 12 pound. It isn't really made amazingly. There's little bits of cotton poking out all over the shop, which for me, I just feel like, come on, you could have nipped them off before you sent it, but a few more, they're, they're literally all over it. I mean, it's gonna take me, what, two seconds to nip them off. It's no big deal, but I just think that is kind of like a sign of it being quite poorly made. So it probably won't last you forever, but it's really sweet. And it's got those like little polka dotty bits on, which is actually like my bed cover. I haven't got on in a minute, but I've got a bed cover exactly like that. It's my favorite bed cover. <laughs> Probably why I like the top. Again, I had high hopes for these shorts. A little bit disappointed. Uh, I don't know what it is with these belts. Where is it? I feel like on cheap items, they always give you these belts. When I did my Boohoo haul a few weeks ago, I had a few pairs of trousers that were really nice, and they put these cheap looking belts on it. And it just, for me, it just ruined it. Don't think it needed it. These are a size 12 and they were, oh, they were tight. Oh, they were tight. They were, I squeezed that belly in there, but it was tight. I don't think it's too many cakes. I think they were small. <laughs> Seriously, the, I would go for size in these. Uh, you you kind of want them to like be a little bit loose fitting as well, just for comfort, just for like the style of them. I think it looks a little bit better if they're a little bit bigger. Tight on these kind of things is not helpful. It just doesn't help the look. These would look really cute with like a nice white shirt. These nice white sandals, like just super cash day. Dress them up with some heels for the night. Nice little body, something plain. Imagine like a body version of this. Something just really chic, cute, simple, plain, so easy. So these are £12.50. These are Nasty Girl own brand. So like I said, definitely go up size. Not really much more to say about that. They've just got like, have they, oh, they didn't have pockets either, which did disappoint me. I love a pocket. Nice little like rolled up hem. The idea about the paper bag belt around the waist is nice. Um, and they do up with like one of those things. I do think they could have done with another one there to hold that. But because my stomach was like bulging out a little bit, it did like bulge through the shorts. But there we are. You can't have it all, can you? And that's why I'm here to give you my advice on these things before you buy them. Okay, so last item before we go into our mini loungewear haul. 
There's only three, don't worry. <laughs> This is really, really sweet. I think this is lovely. It's one of those organza blouses. The sleeves on this were awesome. Like, look at that sleeve. That is so cool. I literally love that. I love the little tiny buttons, which are really, really sweet on it too. And I think these on the front are just really, really sweet. I think it's gonna look lovely, maybe with a lace body under. I wore it with um, like a lacy bra. But that was because of all I could really find at the time, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I've never really worn anything like this. But I would personally, if I was going to wear it out, would wear it. I just noticed one of the buttons is dirty. Um, I would wear it with a nice lace body underneath. I think that would be the classiest way to wear it. Maybe tucked into like some high-waisted nude trousers. Uh, something like that I think would look really nice. And then a nice pair of plain simple heels. Could wear a blazer over it, really, really chic and girly. This was £16 and I got this in size 12. That's all I really have to say about that. I didn't really understand the neckline, to be honest. Like, it just sort of sat, which, again, I'm not really used to. I don't really wear necklines that just sort of sit very often, but yeah. Okay, and then finally into our little mini loungewear section. So these all come in sets of two, so the top and the bottom together. This is something really different for me, but I love the colour. I was really, really surprised when it came. I, saw, I opened the bag and I was like, I'm not sure, but I really like it. And I actually really love the fit of it on. I thought it wasn't going to be very flattering, but I felt really like quite chic in it. And I do think it's really timeless. It's really plain and simple and it's just really lovely. I got it in a large because I always feel like these things you just want them to be comfy. You do not want loungewear digging in in all the wrong places. So yeah, these were like elasticated waistband. I love these. I think they're so funky. They're like a flare cropped trouser. They're really cool. I actually think they might be like long length on someone who hasn't got long legs they might not be cropped but i like them looking cropped i think it was pretty cool these are 25 pound for the set and i'm guessing at the minute because everyone's still buying loungewear that's why they're a little bit more but you get two items so really think about it. 12 pound 15 an item that's a bargain uh yeah so i was happy with those the next two are just the most dreamy pieces of loungewear i have ever seen so I got this exactly the same in two different colours. So I got it, I put it on my Instagram and asked you guys to vote as well. Yeah, but I think your favourite was the pink and it's probably my favourite too. So there's this cream version, really, really sweet, like pearl details around along the front. It's like, I got them in a large. I got them both in a large, I'm sure. Yeah, I got them both in a large. So they're quite like big and chunky and cosy. I think I actually probably could have got away with a medium just because the top was so big, but that I think it may have compromised the comfort level on the bottoms. The shorts are the most adorable little things ever. And the material, you can just see like that fluff. It's as soft as how you imagine. It's like the softest, cutest things, exactly how you want loungewear to be. And it's so dreamy. So that's a cream version. And then, this is the pink. Oh, it's a really gorgeous, like dusky pink. Look how pretty it is. I absolutely love these. These are £22.50 a set, which again is like, that's even less per item. That's like £10, £11 per item, £11.25 an item. Look at that maths. That was quick maths. So I think this is just really adorable. I absolutely love these. I think you're going to get so much wear of them, not just during lockdown, but all year round because they're just like perfect, like, comfy cozy things to just chuck on and sit on the sofa in and just be comfy and cozy and still look really chic and pretty and girly and feminine and all the things that I love. So I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please remember to hit subscribe for some good vibes. Please remember to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below of your favorite item. All the links, like I said, are underneath this video in the description box. Head over to my Instagram, follow me at with love Katie, and thank you so much for being here.